Rusaka Novel Rusaka is a fantasy novel by American science fiction and fantasy author C. J. Cherry. It was first published in October 1989 in the United States in a hardcover edition by Ballantine Books under its Del Rey Books imprint. Rusaka is book one of Cherry's three book Russian stories trilogy set in medieval Russia in forests along the Dnieper River near Kiev in modern-day Ukraine. The novel draws on Slavic folklore and concerns the fate of a girl who has drowned and becomes a Rusalka. It is also an exploration of magic and the development of a young wizard. Rusalka was nominated for the Locus Award for Best Fantasy Novel in 1990 and was a third-place runner-up. Cherry Self published a revised edition of Rusalka in ebook format in October 2010 at Closed Circle Publications. Plot Summary A Rusalka is a wish, a wish not to die, a wish for revenge. Rusalka, page 226, Sasha, is a 15-year-old downtrodden stable boy living with his aunt and uncle at an inn they run in the town of Vidvoda. Sasha's parents had been killed in a house fire that he was accused of starting through wizardry. Pieter is one of the town's audacious young men, and one day he is attacked and wounded by old Yurishev for having a liaison with his young wife. Pieter escapes, but later learns that Yurishev is dead, and that he has been accused of murdering him by sorcery. Pieter hides in the stables at the inn, and Sasha helps him leave the town. With no future for himself in Vijvoda, Sasha accompanies the wounded Pieter. Pieter and Sasha walk for days through fields and into a dead forest. Sasha does not believe he is a wizard, but finds he sometimes has the ability to successfully wish for things. Pieter does not believe in wizards at all, and laughs at Sasha's wishing. Exhausted and without food, the pair find a cottage by a river. Its occupant, a wizard named Iolimits, heals Pieter and agrees to let them stay on condition that they help him find his daughter, Ivka, who had drowned when she was sixteen, and is now a Rusalka. Pieter is suspicious of eye limits and does not believe in Rusalkas. Later, while the three of them are searching for Ivka, she makes herself visible to Pieter overpowers him, and leads him into the forest. Rusalkas are renowned for drowning men they have chosen, but Ivka abandons Pieter and disappears again. Iolimits and Sasha find Pieter unharmed, but are attacked by H. Weir, a shape-shifting Vadianoi, known to drown people who go too close to the water. Iolimits traps H. Weir and threatens to kill it. The creature pleads for its life and admits to drowning Ivka, but blames Chernivog, a former student of Iolimits. Ivka had fallen in love with Chernivog and run off with him, but Chernivog had used his newly acquired wizardry to control her and then handed her over to H. Weir. Even as a Rusalka, Chernivog still controls Ivka and will not let her return to her father. Iolimits agrees to let H. Weir go on condition that he helps them find Chernivog. While searching for Chernivog, Pieter spots Ivka and chases after her. Sasha wants to follow Pieter to protect him, but Iolimits wills Sasha to stay. Iolimits had recognized Sasha's potential for wizardry and taught him how to use his talents but stress the dangers of unchecked wishing and the importance of considering their consequences first. Pieter, who now has feelings for Ivka, and is slowly accepting this new world of wizards, rusalkas, and river creatures, finds her and together they locate Chernivog's house in the forest. Chernivog immediately takes control of Pieter and instructs Atrier to guard him. As Eilemitz and Sasha approach the house, Chernivog starts sending lightning bolts at them, but Iolimits is able to redirect them back at the house, setting it ablaze. In the chaos, Pieter breaks free of H. Weir and overpowers a weakened Chernivog. Iolimits then casts a wizard's once-in-a-lifetime spell and commands Ivka to live. This final wish kills the wizard but resurrects Ivka. Sasha discovers that that spell also bestowed on him all of the wizard's knowledge and abilities. Chernivog is unconscious, but Sasha cannot kill him, and instead puts him into a long, deep sleep. H. Weir has disappeared, and Leshy's, woodland spirits, appear and celebrate the downfall of Chernivog. 
they put him on a stone in a circle of trees and agree to guard him with Eveska flesh and bone again she and Pieter finally unite and Sasha now a wizard has new responsibilities to attend to reception in a review in the Chicago Sun Times science fiction and fantasy writer Roland J Green called Rusalka one of 1989's better fantasies while he was critical of Cherry's occasional lapses of narrative technique he said that she excelled in her characterization command of the language world building and background in anthropology linguistics and folklore a reviewer in Kirkus reviews said that Rusalka's plot was pretty good but complained about it being plotting uncompelling and overlong and that it lacked atmosphere tension chills and thrills works cited Bogstad Janice M 2004 shifting ground subjectivities in Cherry's Slavic fantasy trilogy in Carmian Edward ed the Cherry Odyssey wild side press LLC PP 113 131 ISBN 978 8095-1071-9. Cherry C. J. 2018-1989. Rusalka E. Book Ed. Spokane, Washington, Closed Circle Publications.